Alright, we're back into the game of My Little Pony. Kinda. We're still like... At least we got the information for Season 8, and that's good. I mean, they somehow managed to keep the whole thing under wraps for a bit. There were some title drops here and there, but still. Out of the information we got, and Discovery Family having no ad appearances as early as January, at least we're in the goal. At least we're in the good for that. For now, let's talk about the Equestro Girl special that just recently came out. Because that's what we got for My Little Pony for now until next month. But uh, let's get into it. This is Forgotten Friendship. Otherwise, as I like to call it, Memories of Nobody. Now, this is a very simple special, but I'll get into the details later on. The idea is that Sunset Shimmer and the crew are going out for a photo shoot. The idea, the, the story is that Sunset Shimmer is on her... The idea is, is that Sunset Shimmer is on the yearbook committee. While this other person, who's basically a nobody is in there, just forgotten and not well known. And the person's name is Wolfara Blush. So, what has to happen now is, that just as they're about to go for their photo shoot, it's then the next day that all of a sudden, everybody just doesn't know Sunset Shimmer for who she is. They see her as the rebellious punk, the one that uh, made the whole school bow down to her. And that's when, all of a sudden, that's when you have the whole ordeal with her having to figure out what will happen. How is she going to resolve this? Returning back to the pony world, Twilight breaks, basically brings her to Celestia as they look in a forbidden place of an archive. And that possibly is not Star Soul the Bearded's area, where the time spell was found. As from that point, they wind up finding about a geostone that apparently from Clover the Clever somehow managed to be vanished and disappear into another world. And you can guess what world it disappears into. As this leads our, our unlikely crew to try and figure out how to stop it. But of course since Sunset Shimmer can't figure out who's the culprit or whatever, and basically for the most part even relying on Trixie, that's for the most part why they um, they have to deal with the situation that either they get the memories back or face the consequences and have nobody remember. But as they're working on their investigation, they wind up speaking to the underground pony, and like I said, Wolfhour Blush. As it turns out, she's the one that has the geostone and can erase the memories of anybody that comes into contact. Actually, that just, that just reminds me of something. For a bit of a reason, this whole, that whole thing reminds me of Code Geass. Like, anybody taking a look at Code Geass? Anyone in particular? It's a highly recommended anime. Check it out. It's Food Funimation. But anyways, the idea of it, at least what happens in one of the parts as both Trixie and Sunset talk to Wallflower as she basically 
test drives the spell on them. It turns out that somehow Sunset Shimmer managed to hide a note, but also, without any notice, actually records what happens for memory's sake, or at least because somehow in this world, or at least in any convoluted plot, somehow digital devices that record whatever aren't affected by a memory spell. Yeah! That's the weak point. Not that I don't like weak points or anything with these types of plot holes, but still. How are these pe how do people who have the ability to erase memories don't know that if a camera is on, like they possibly like leave and there's a red light on it or something? Well, mostly because you're looking at this or whatever. You don't have it in portrait mode or whatever. Um, you basically don't see the camera being recorded. I mean, for Pete's sake, I mean, if you see that lens open, I mean. Look right there, I mean, you can't tell because the screen's on, maybe if I do... Uh, I don't know if the camera will allow me to do it, but we can try. Like, if that's on, then at least it'd be good for undercover purposes, yeah, but even then... Don't they think by this point, if the lens is open, the memory would have... the whatever's recorded on here would have been erased? Just asking. So, with that in mind, what happens afterwards is that the climax happens. And that involves Wallflower trying to erase the entirety of the main six's memories and high school. Because, well, who doesn't want to forget high school? And just erase it out of their whole memories. But, of course, Sunset Shimmer jumps in and stops the whole thing. But, somehow, this... But, because of it, it reverts her back to the memories of back when she lived in the, in the pony world. Which causes the main six to reveal their hidden pony powers, much like an anime word, Equestro Girls review here. And, from that point, all of the six... I mean, seven... I keep forgetting that. The Seven wind up destroying the Memory Stone as Wallflower is basically now... has basically has now changed from a nobody to a well-known nobody, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Let's just say a well-known Betty. But from that point... It's basically everything's now the way it's supposed to be. All the memories are intact. Trixie is basically back to where she is, except for the most part, somehow, both her and Trixie are friends. So, yeah. From that point, that's the entirety of Forgotten Friendship. And what do you even say to it? Good month, Filler. I mean, it's good we at least see something from the Equestria Girl special since they're no longer making the movies. And pretty much for the most part, um, like, um, most of the Equestria Girl shorts are being posted up on YouTube. Or if you just can't find it, because Hasbro is like constantly releasing all the foreign languages, just piling up onto the English version, on, uh, piling to the original English version, then pretty much for the most part you're watching it through the Discovery Family Go app. Which, ouch, decent app, but um, it's somehow a, a little bit precautious. Or at least it's a little bit hard to, like, get through it all, but... I don't even know what else to say. I mean, Forgotten Friendship, 
great special, loved it. Again, initial opinion, sort of kind of like Stardust. But um, you'll have to see what I mean by talking about Stardust when I release those videos. Basically, probably now, perhaps. But for right now, let's talk about something other than these entire stuff right now. And that being Season 8. Now, for the most part, Season 8, at the moment, it seems to be getting off to a good start. I mean, we've got the information of the first two episodes. We have Discovery Family keeping Season 8 a secret until this month. And to top everything off, um, the new season will premiere next month. And by next month, I do mean the... Um, 24th of next month. So, we've got a good month to wait. But also, I want to bring something up before I forget. For right now, what I've got going on for the moment being is... It seems to be jittery on this one. Hold on. What I've got going on right now is... I'm working on a couple of things, and like I said, I'm taking my break from making videos here and there. I might have made a one or two videos here on my... here, and that will be released very soon. But one thing I want to get out of the way is, I've been currently, like, under wraps with making... or at least getting through some video games, because I've wanted to play them, but with the swamp of videos and everything going on around the world, I've kind of sort of been slow on that, but I'm also in the middle of uh, making a PMV for Everfree Northwest because I have to. So, I've got that going on, but one more factoid I must bring up is next month I will be on my vacation in Sun City, Arizona because, like, I need a place to relax away from... All of this right here. All of this. But I believe I deserve the vacation. I don't care if the, like, subscriber count drops or whatever. I need the vacation. There may be one time that I may go to Las Vegas. It's not confirmed yet. But if I ever do, I, I could possibly do some sort of quickie vlog ish thing. It's unknown, but that's what I'm going to do. But to get you summarized, I look forward to season eight. I'm working I'm still working on videos right now. Don't worry a pants off. I'll be taking a vacation month long, uh spending time in Sun City, and possibly a little trip to Las Vegas. So with that in mind Hope you guys understand what I mean by a vacation. And please understand what I went through last year. Making over a hundred videos within a year. I need my vacation. So with that in mind, what did you think of the new Equestria Girls special? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. And for right now, I'll see you guys next time.